Hey everyone, I'm Chase at Rocketmon 8 FMC, giving you a closer look at the CR2 helmet from O'Neill. All right, so if you are shopping for an entry-level dual sport adventure touring helmet, one that's not going to break the bank but still have some great features that are built in, well, the CR2 could be a really good option. There's definitely some features that I like about this helmet, especially at the price point of about 135 bucks. I think there's a lot of bang for the buck here. So we're going to go through, talk about everything that you are getting. Before we get there, though, let's talk about fit real quick. So myself included with some other riders, we have tried this helmet on for us. Fitment's true to size. I actually think it's a really comfortable helmet. I like the comfort liner on the inside. I weighed a size large, comes in at 3.4 pounds, but it doesn't feel that heavy. It's one thing I noticed, it actually feels really light when you're wearing this helmet. So when it comes to all day comfort, I think this thing's gonna nail it right on the head. Now, as far as the fit goes, remember, it's an apparel item. So if you get it, if you're not happy with the size of fit, you can send it back in brand new unused condition, and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So the way the CR2 is constructed, it's a polycarbonate shell. I'll turn around, give you a full 360 view here. You'll see in the back, you're gonna be DOT certified. Nice aggressive shell shape. So if that's something you're looking for, maybe plan to do a little bit more aggressive off-road riding, well, this could be a great choice for you. So polycarbonate shell, if you look at the visor here, the visor, you've got plenty of cutouts here to help reduce buffeting, make it a little bit more stable at those higher speeds, but just keep in mind that the visor is not going to be adjustable. Now, as far as the venting goes on the helmet, you'll notice a couple vents down here along the chin bar. You've got a mouth vent here that's gonna open and close. A couple of vents up here on top underneath the visor, taking that air in. And then if we flip it around, you look at the back here, you've got a couple exhaust vents here on the back of it. Now, when we look at the shield, you're gonna have four positions with the shield. You've got fully closed, and then you've actually got three detents on the way up. You've got one, two, and there is your third all the way open. Now, you'll notice too, with the shield open, you've got quite a big opening here in the eye port. We've actually, just to try it out, we put a pair of goggles on with the helmet on with the shield all the way up. We actually found that goggles will fit with this helmet. I get a lot of questions of whether or not you can wear a pair of goggles with a certain adventure helmet. And yes, with these, I would say you could wear a pair of goggles if you did want to. But here's another feature that I love, especially at this price point. You do have a drop down sun visor with this helmet. So that's a feature that I myself personally, I really like. So that way you're not worried about putting sunglasses on or taking them off. So very easy to operate. You've just got this little mechanism here on the side. So you saw how I did that when you're ready to put it down. It's gonna push it back and up, that will drop it, and then down and forward, and that will raise it back up. So very simple to do. So that's the outside of your helmet. Take a look at the inside here. So traditional D-ring as far as your neck strap goes. So undo that real quick. All right, so that is out. You'll notice here you have a chin skirt on this helmet as well that is removable. So to remove it, you're actually just gonna tug it out. It comes out fairly easy. So there is your chin skirt. Now, as far as your cheek pads go, you got a couple snaps and then some tabs down here along the chin bar holding those in. Not the easiest to get out or to put back in. It's not a deal breaker, but it takes a little bit more work. So a couple snaps up here at the top, pop those out, and then you can see you've got those tabs down here at the bottom. So just take your time when you're putting these back in, you're gonna be good to go. So there's one cheek pad, we'll pull out the other here. So this is where I say it takes a little bit of work to get these out. Pop this one. Pull it out the bottom. All right, so there are your cheek pads, and then you have your comfort liner. Again, just gonna have snaps that are holding this in, some tabs at the top. So with that out, you can see plenty of cutouts in that comfort liner. Again, that's gonna help when it comes to airflow. And like I said, very comfortable material that they're using for this. And then on the inside, you can see there's gonna be your EPS liner. Not a ton of channeling, not a ton of vents, but again, you're budget friendly. You're gonna to start to see more channels, more venting cut into the EPS liner as you step up in price and get into some more of those premium offerings. I also do wanna point out as well, you'll notice there are not going to be speaker pockets cut out into the liner. So if that's something that you like to rock, just keep in mind, not gonna come included with those. But for the most part, I think this helmet it's everything that you're looking for in a quality helmet, but again, budget-friendly price point. So if that's what you're looking for, this could be a really good option. If you do have any other questions about the CR2 from O'Neill Racing, leave your questions or comments below and we will get those answered. And to pick yours up, it's real simple. Just click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember, orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, we got a lot more just like them. So get subscribed to our YouTube channel. That way we stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I'm Chase. We'll see you on the trails.